Clip 1 here is radio negative 16D transmitter. It comes with a R16F receiver and they are bound at the factory. So there is no need to rebind them when you receive it. But if you buy a new R16F receiver, you need to bind it to the transmitter. And I'm going to show you how to bind R16F to T16D transmitter. And there are two steps for bending. One, select receiver protocol to bind. And first, enter main menu. Receiver settings. And RF settings. And we need to select module selection to internal. And then for protocol. R16F supports FHSS V1, V2, and V2.1. V1 and V2 protocols support 8 channels, but our V2.1 protocol supports 16 channels. When you use R16F, if V1 or V2 protocol is selected, only 8 channels are available on the receiver, so it is recommended to select V2.1 protocol. And for details of the receiver protocols and compatible receivers, please refer to the table on the screen. Now bind them. Power on the receiver. Connect the battery to any one channel of the receiver. And the flashing LED of the receiver indicates there is no bending between the transmitter and the receiver. And also there is no signal tower on the screen of T16D. Keep a distance of about 50 centimeters between the transmitter and receiver. And there is a tiny black bending button on the side of the receiver. Press and hold it until the LED flashes fast. A solid light of the receiver indicates the bending is complete. And the signal tower on the screen of the transmitter shows the bending is successful. If bending fails, the LED of the receiver will keep flashing slowly. Please repeat the bending steps. You can also collect a servo to the receiver to confirm it. And I collect the servo to channel 1. And move the joystick of channel 1. It works, which means the bending is successful. And once the bending is success, it will be stored. And then let's talk about the working mode of R16F. R16F supports three SIG outputs, TWM, SPOS, and CRSF. It has four working modes in total. And for working mode switch, we have two methods. Short press the bending button once to turn on or off the SPOS. Blue LED indicates the SPOS is turned on, and press it once again to turn off the SPOS. And two, short press the bending button twice within two seconds to turn on off the CRSF. Green LED indicates the CRSF is turned on, and you can press the bending button twice again to turn off it. And then let's check the four working modes of our texting F one by one. The color of the LED will show you the current working mode. And mode 1, red LED always on indicates PWM SIG output. And short press the bending button once to turn on the spots. Mode 2, red and blue LED always on indicates PWM and spots SIG output. And short press the bending button to turn on the CRSF. Mode 3, red, green, and blue LED also indicates PWM and CRSF and sparse SIG output. Short press the bending button to turn off the sparse. Mode 4, red and green LED also indicates PWM and CRSF signal output. So that's all about the bending and working modes of R16F.